any uh, made by any of the panelists or any questions i think dr moon will love to answer those questions uh if not i think uh, uh, then we'll move on to professor uh, kyong woo kim and he's uh, going to tell us the differences uh, varicella zoster versus herpes simplex virus they are similar but different i think very important talk let's thank you kim okay uh, uh good evening i'm so happy to have a presentation in this wonderful meeting uh, I'm going to talk about the two viruses, varicella zoster virus and herpes simplex virus, which look similar, but actually quite different. A human herpes virus family includes various viruses and further divide into three subgroups, alpha, beta, and gamma. Among of these, herpes simplex virus and varicella zoster virus and CMV virus are well known to involve ocular surface. Uh, these two viruses are in alpha subgroup, but CMV virus in another group. So CMV virus can make another features in the ocular surface. HSV and Zoster virus differ from CMV in terms of the tissue tropism. And HSV and Zoster virus like nerve. So these are neurotropic viruses. They lie in trigeminal ganglion and conduct exoplasmic flow to corneal surface. But sometimes they go through the path to the iris, so may induce iritis and iris atrophy. But on the other hand, the CMV virus is immune cell trophic. CMV virus primarily hides in the bone marrow and secondarily lies in the trabecular meshwork and ciliary body. In this reason, CMV endothelialitis increases intraocular pressure very frequently. It, can, it, it may be directly shed into the aqueous humor that make uh, coin-shaped KP at the corneal endothelial layer. Uh, HSV and Zoster virus have a dual phases for their pathogenicity. And HSV and Zoster virus usually infect primarily in children. HSV make vesicles on the eyelid or lips by contact. And Zoster virus infection is well known as chickenpox, and this is airborne. After days to weeks, viral DNA lie inside the neural cells and enter the latent phase. And then usually in adults, when patients are exposed to UV, stress, and immune suppression, new variants are produced again and go to the peripheral target to reactivate the diseases. When we see HSV stromokeratitis or facial zoster in adults, these are almost the reactivation of the dormant virus, not the primary infection. And if patients with facial zoster along to the V1 dermatome, and if they have vesicles at the tip, side, or root of the nose, we call it Hutchinson's sign. Because nasal ciliary nerve bifurcates to long and short ciliary nerve to the eye, facial zoster patients with this kind of Hutchinson sign uh, may have much higher risk of ocular inflammation and corneal denervation. Uh, the representative feature of HSV keratitis is dendritic ulcer. It has terminal verb and contain live viruses. When the dendrites become united, they transform into geographic ulcer. But on the other hand, pseudodendrites may be seen in zoster keratitis. Uh, these kind of pseudodendrites are hipped up in the epithelium and look like medusa. They do not have terminal verb like this kind of dendritic ulcer in HSV. 
usually located in the peripheral region. Although each uh, epithelial lesion is quite specific to HSV and Zoster virus, the other corneal lesions such as uh, stromal keratitis and disiform cornea endothelial keratitis and keratovitis are both seen in HSV and Zoster keratitis. And, and those findings are very similar to each other. When we plan the treatment in HSV or zoster keratitis, we first should already know if there are live viruses in that lesion. Uh, first for epithelial keratitis, live viruses are present in the epithelial cells, so the antiviral only is sufficient occasionally. But for the stromal keratitis uh, or endothelial keratitis, the presence of live viruses are not guaranteed, but the immune hypersensitivity mechanism is rather involved. So in HSV or zoster stroma and endothelial keratitis, the administration of steroid is also usually recommended with antivirals. Uh, we can use the same antivirals such as acyclovir and Velocyclovir and famciclovir in both HSV and Zoster virus. But the biggest difference is the effective dose of antivirus between these two viruses. Uh, for example, Zoster viruses needs more than twice dose of acyclovir than uh, uh, herpes simplex virus. So there's a big gap of dosage between these two viruses. Uh, personally, I like to prescribe uh, velocyclovir thanks to the lower dose than acyclovir. So for zoster keratovitis, I prescribe uh, velocyclovir 1000 milligram twice a day. Uh, this dosage exceeds the uh, effective dose of 50% of uh, effective dose in the tear film and also in aqueous humor. So it really works in the real clinics. Uh, in addition, the latency pattern is unique, especially in Zoster virus. All the both these two viruses lie in neuronal cells during the latent phase. Zoster virus also lie in dormant in satellite cells. The virions in satellite cells can easily spread to adjacent neuron. In this reason, we should cover zoster virus with the systemic antivirus to suppress reactivation. Uh, moreover, the local spread of the dormant area may induce the wide and multiple lesions with more severe inflammation. Uh, in my research experience, the early decrease of corneal sensitivity in herpes zoster of thermicus patients was significantly related with the diffused corneal punctate epithelial erosion, not by corneal pseudodendrite or other lesions. Uh, I think that such wide and uh, diffuse lesions may reflect the higher number of variants in ganglion and the multiple involvement of corneal nerve fibers uh, rather than uh, such of uh, pseudodendrites. Zoster virus reactivation is sometimes very frequent, uh, repeated, and unpredictable. In this 38-year-old uh, male, he had initially pseudodendrites predominantly at nasal area in his left eye. Then pneumonia keratitis occurred. Thereafter, keratovitis recurred several times with the inferior temporal stroma infiltration of, because his kidney function was bad and an IOP was fluctuated, I really had trouble to manage this patient. And I had also experienced, experienced atypical zoster keratitis. Uh, this 39-year-old female had the keratovitis, but corneal lesion was involved uh, both multi-stromal layer by anterior 
anterior segment OCT and also in endothelium. Uh, although this is not the same as coin-shaped KP as seen in CMV endotheliolitis, I was confused with CMV endotheliolitis initial uh, visit because her IOP increased very frequently. So after the long intake of antiviral agents, unfortunately, the endothelial scar decreased but remained um, in the final with cornea irregular astigmatism. Uh, in summary, HSV and zoster virus belong to the same family, but uh, clinical manifestations are quite different. Especially zoster virus-related ocular reactivation may recur very frequently and unpredictable and sometimes very severe. But when once the significant ocular involvement is caused by zoster virus reactivation, the active and steady treatment with sufficient dose of system antiviral is recommended. Uh, this is my end of my presentation, and thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I think. I